तो ये सब एक्चुअली थियरीज है कि पहले वर्ण था फिर कास्ट बना ठीक है तो एक्चुअली कास्ट इज डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ ऑक्यूपेशन ऑक्यूपेशन स्पेसिफिक है कास्ट एंड इन अ वे यू कैन से वेन सोसाइटी बिकेम सेटल्ड मोर ऑक्यूपेशन इमर्ज एंड ग्रेजुअली दे बिकेम हेरिडिट्री तो वो ऑक्यूपेशन बेस्ड है और आइडिया है तो मनु ने मतलब हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज द सोसाइटी इन मोर ब्रॉड सेंस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डिफरेंट ऑक्यूपेशन ही हैज मेड फोर वर्नास फाइन सो द फर्स्ट वर्ण बिकेम द ब्राह्मण देन क्षत्रियास वैश्यास शूद्रास फाइन सो दीज फोर वर्णास वेयर द पार्ट ऑफ हिंदू सोसाइटी और वैदिक सोसाइटी एंड देन देर इज अ फिफ्थ वर्ण ऑल्सो नोन एज अ वर्ण और आउट कास्ट समटाइम्स इन मनु स्मृति द वर्ड दासाज दूज एक्सेट्रा इज ऑल्सो मैंशंट सो दीज फिफ्थ वर्णाज आर untouchables so they were not the part of vedic society fine so these are four means there is no untouchability that is practiced with shudras untouchability is practiced only in context of dasas okay and so the theory say that certain occupations which could not be brought within the fold of hindu society they are left like that this is how the varna system was organized otherwise it would have been very confusing how to make laws you can't make laws for each and every professional group so broadly they made four groups and accordingly they made the norms for the convenience you can say ease of doing business fine otherwise there would have been rules many rules so broadly four rules and those who were not fitting in any were outcast okay now there is also out of these there is a hierarchy fine and they are known as dwij dwijas or twice born so twice born means because how you become twice born so you become twice born on the basis of observing certain sanskars sanskars can be seen as set of rituals like we see certain rituals upanayan sanskar and this that sanskar also at the same time sanskar means the virtues which you have attained virtues or the values which you have attained and only these three castes they were allowed to study vedas after studying vedas you develop knowledge you have scope to become more virtuous so manu smriti writes that at the time of birth 
everyone is shudra find if your upnayan sanskar does not happen then you are shudra you are purified when these things happen so normally it is defined in terms of ritual but it also means that when you attain virtues or when you gain knowledge or when you become more enlightened so when you become more enlightened means you start understanding not just the physical world you also start understanding the spiritual world world so you this is like a your own rebirth where you have understood the spiritual dimension of the universe also so varna system there were various castes it is said for the purpose of organizing they have categorized into four varnas and the three varnas were given opportunity for further purification and shudras were left to serve and they have created the story about the divine origin of this birth buddha does not believe in this and he didn't believe in differentiation so in buddha even shudras if they had been given opportunity to study they would have also developed the virtues so buddha believes that anyone is capable of gaining the virtues so in buddhist sanghas there was no uh, they don't they didn't follow the caste or varna system anybody was allowed so even manu smriti is criticized because manu smriti also deprives women also from studying vedas so women and shudras they were kept together fine so for this it is being criticized by the feminists also and this tradition continues even in ramcharitmanas where tulsidas has also kept women and shudras together fine so this is like and initially buddha had some hesitations with respect to women joining sanghas but later on allowed women also so in buddhism everyone has an opportunity to attain moksha fine and everyone has an opportunity to gain enlightenment so buddha believes enlightenment is about knowledge hinduism also believes but hinduism deprived certain sections whereas buddhism does not deprive so it is more egalitarian tradition next uh in hindu text like in manu smriti it is described that these varnas originated from the different organs of divya purush and then in buddhist texts one prominent buddhist text is always taken as a reference for understanding buddhist political ideas that is aggana sutta and in aggana sutta it is shown that buddha is challenging the entire idea and buddha is saying that it is like unbelievable okay and what is believable is what we can see and we can see that every person takes birth from the womb of his mother there is no basis to say that there was some uh, like basis to accept this theory तो इगैलिटेरियनिज्म का जो बुद्धिज्म का आइडिया है उसमें पहली चीज यही है कि बर्थ का ये जो थियोरी है फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स ऑफ दिव्य पुरुष दे रिजेक्ट देर इज नो सच बेसिस व्हाट वी कैन सी व्हाट ही सेज दैट एंड बुद्धा इन अगना सुत्ता इज शोन हैविंग कॉन्वर्सेशन विथ ऋषीज लाइक भारद्वाज एंड वशिष्ठ and he is explaining that no such birth ever happened like that the births take place from the womb of the mother 
So there is no basis to accept this. And Shudras have been compelled. If they they also get got the opportunity, they can also get enlightened. So Buddhism is a egalitarian tradition which rejects this. Got it?